Hey, it's Max. I'm back with another video. This time, I am going to explain to you how to set up CSR2 on the BlueStacks 3 computer program. Uh, before you do anything else, you have to first download the program from Google. I'm not going to show you that part, obviously. Just do a search for BlueStacks 3 on Google. It's uh, got its own website. You will do a download. It's free. You install it on your PC. Once it's fully installed, the initial screen will come to the... Um, <clears throat> my apps setting the only thing you'll see here is the systems apps tab all these games wouldn't exist yet what you can do first or what you should do first I should say is you go to settings and you get yourself set up almost like setting up a new phone it's, it's almost no different all this will be here it simulates the phone in that it gives you 32 gigs of space almost and then your games and stuff will take up space on here just like any phone you anybody who uses a droid phone will be pretty familiar with this interface here. So you go back, you set up a Google account, okay? And you should use whatever Google account that you feel is best for gaming for you. I keep my gaming account separate from my other accounts. It's just uh, the way I like to do it. Uh, so I have a work account, personal account, gaming account. And this way the Google, when you know, when you log into Google, one doesn't interfere with the other as far as searches, history, uh, games that are linked, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you got that together. Now you go to the App Center right here. You'll type in CSR2 like I've already done. Do a search. It should pop up. You have an option to install. Uh, it's a big app. It's going to take a while to install, but once you click on it, you just wait. Once it's finished installing, it'll go to your My Apps, and you will now have a tab for the game here. So that's it, really. I mean, I downloaded other games, as you can see. Any of these games will play on BlueStacks, no problem. Um, again, most of them require some kind of key map overlay. And that you can find after you get into the game. If you look at the bottom right here, you see this keyboard here? What you would do is you can lock that or you can unlock that so you can click on this. So what it says on my screen is Open Keyboard Controls UI. I don't think it shows up on the video when I click it because um, I reviewed an earlier video I tried to make and it didn't show up. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to explain to you verbally. You will be looking at a overlay screen at this moment after you click that keyboard. You'll have some options up here, which you don't see on the video. But it'll have boxes at different points inside the game. These boxes can be moved, and then you can assign keys to them. Well, what does that do? Well, what it does is, if you're going to go race, you'll have to map those key boxes where your buttons are going to be. So, you're going to have certain buttons. For example, your your gas here, up shift, down shift, launch and nitrous will be the same button. So, you have to set up four buttons, and then by tapping these buttons, you will get the effect of tapping essentially the screen on a device. So I actually have four keys. I have one here, one here, one here, and one here set up on my overlay screen when I click on this keyboard. And it is different buttons I assign to it. You can assign any four buttons to it. As long as your fingers can work them, you'll be good to go. So very simple to set up. Uh, to play on BlueStacks. On other games, for example, um, you can actually also set up um, directional movement buttons. So it's not limited to just one uh, particular game. You can use it with different, uh, different things. So I got a daily battle ready. I'm going to deal with that later. I want to show you the updated two cards real quick. Uh, the game updated with uh, just 158 megs. A small update but it did add the two cars one is next season's pc car and that is the m2 competition looks just like a regular m2 to me uh, maybe the blackout trim is nice um, that's a big deal in the bmw community everybody liked the blackout trim uh, blackout trim on the grill right uh, just um, the more sporty versions tend to have it and the regular versions have the chrome I think the M models, like the chrome grill here, you see that chrome, and the M2 Competition has the blackout grill, which is a nice 
nice touch. And under certain colors, it must look really cool. Uh, it already comes with multiple colors. You can see here that metallic, we have a few different ones. I always uh, had a soft spot for this blue. I like any blue, really. But um, some blues just doesn't look good on some cars. And here you have your solid Alpine white classic color for BMW. And there it is, M2 competition. We'll all be pulling for one of these things soon. Uh, the good news is it's a three star. Okay, you know, with silver keys, you can get three stars pretty easily. The bad news is it's a three star. Um, yeah, and there are a lot of three star cars that are rather crappy in this game that you can pull from the silver key as you try for the M2 competition. So Donna can troll you quite a bit next season as you pull keys. And I hate wasting my 50 silver keys on a three star. That's just me, but that's the reality here. I love this season because it's five star PC car. I'm pulling cars like crazy. I don't even mind burning up most of my silver key uh, that I've saved up because even if I pull a different five star car, it's a win. All right, so now I am blindly moving around looking for that new car that was added on the T5, which is the Koenigsegg Agera. Uh, it's here somewhere, I promise. I just have to find it. Ooh, ooh, I see it. There it is. Look at that. Shaq's his car in a different color with a top on. Right? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, wait, wait, it's got winglets. Yeah, that's new. So anyway, it's a Gara. I mean, it, you know, it didn't change the look too much. It looks a little bit like Shaq's car with a different color and a rooftop, different wing. In any case, uh, this is probably a milestone car. As you can see, we see purple stars. So hopefully it doesn't perform like Shaq's car and it actually lives up to its uh, hypercar status. Um, I'm sure it does, and I'm looking forward to winning this next season. And finally, based on Facebook, this car has gotten a super buff. We don't know exactly how quick it is maxed at this point, but you can bet it's quicker. I have gold keys set up, and I actually already pulled a chair on a long time ago, so I am pretty confident when the Go Cup and the quote Legend Cup comes around next season, I will be mostly ready. Uh, Bugatti Fusions have been dropping throughout the last two years, and I have a nice collection of them sitting around. Well, there you go. That's all I can tell right now as far as the update. Um, I will be setting up my uh, Chiron and uh, running it a bit to find out how quick it is. I don't have all the Stage 6s. So I can't tell you ultimately how fast it is. I can tell you, though, it is definitely quicker than it used to be. And that's it. And uh, because I updated early, I get to deal with nothing but bots in Live Lobby. The good news is the bots don't refuse me. The bots don't disconnect so far. And they pay pretty good um, RP for T2. I found when I went into T5, though, it didn't pay that well. It was only 800-something with a 30% card. Not sure. Uh, every time there's an update, the bot lobby RPs get changed in T5. It could be my car. It could be something else. But anyway, I'm not getting 1,400 like some people are. So I'm sticking with T2 for until everybody else updates and actually ends up in the live again where I can race some real people. So the good news is there's an update. The bad news is... It's probably a test update, and not everybody's getting it yet. None of my other devices have it, my phone, my tablet, nothing. Uh, but a quick preview here. Again, BlueStacks, I like it, easy to use. You can also use Knox, which is another emulator, just like BlueStacks. And I heard other people use other type of emulators as well. So in the end, it's up to you which one you prefer. Uh, I just happen to use BlueStacks. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you to... Um, Consider the setup and use of BlueStacks for your own. Uh, if you have any questions, post in the comments. I always answer them. And finally, uh, if you like these kind of videos and want updates, subscribe to the channel. You get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching and uh, have fun with CSR on BlueStacks.